Along with priesthood offices, the church has other callings that require a grant of authority to the person filling that calling. These would include quorum presidents, high counselors, stake presidents, and others. Furthermore, specific assignments within a priesthood office, such as bishop, require an additional grant of authority. Lastly, there are callings that the church considers non-priesthood assignments, including calls in the Relief Society and Young Women. All these grants of authority are accomplished by an ordinance called Setting Apart. The LDS Guide to the Scriptures defines Set Apart as an appointment for specific service within the church. The appointment is made by the laying on of hands. The original sense of the term, as the guide points out, is to be selected and consecrated for holy purposes. The idea is that something or someone is selected or chosen and then set apart from the whole. For example, the Lord chose Israel to be his people, setting them apart or separating them from the other nations of the world. Under the law of the Nazarites, a man or a woman consecrated themselves to the Lord. This consecration, among other things, took the form of separation from out of the congregation of Israel. Nazarites separated themselves apart from the congregation to perform dedicated service to the Lord. The Levites were separated from out of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. In other words, the Levites were set apart to perform a specific priesthood assignment, taking care of the tabernacle. In New Testament times, Barnabas and Saul were set apart by the laying on of hands to perform a specific priesthood work. The work was different from the normal duties of their priesthood office, hence the need to set them apart. Paul was set apart as an apostle. We do not know his priesthood office, but in light of the modern revelations, he was an elder who was set apart to be an apostle. In our dispensation, the Lord mentions setting apart in one specific instance, the bishopric. In ancient times, the Lord promised Aaron that his seed would hold the keys to the Aaronic priesthood and have the rights to the office of bishop, which presides over this order of priesthood. In case there were no literal descendants of Aaron to be found, the Lord directed that a high priest be set apart and ordained to fill the office of bishop. The Lord is explicit that the high priest must be set apart to this specific ministry. His counselors, which could be elders or high priest, must be set apart for this ministry as well. Future bishoprics were to follow this pattern. Like the Levites, Nazarites, and Israel itself before them, high priests must be separated or set apart from their respective communities to serve as bishops. Israel was separated from the nations of the world to enter into a special relationship with the Lord. It was to become a kingdom of priests. Nazarites and Levites separated themselves or were set apart from the greater congregation of Israel.
Likewise, high priests who are to become bishops must be set apart or separated from their normal duties and quorums as high priests and serve as would Aaron and his descendants. He is serving in a lesser office in an official capacity. So too with his counselors, whether they be elders or high priests. 